Hi, in this video I'm gonna show you how to export your figures from Simulink to MATLAB workspace and plot them using M files and save your figures uh, as .fig files. Here I have a simple Simulink uh, simulation here. It's just a register with a voltmeter, uh, voltage source, sorry. The voltage source is 10 volts, 60 hertz, and my resistor is 5 ohms. I'll simulate it for half seconds. And in order to save your figures, you have to just double click uh, on your scope. I need to save my current, and I know the first one, the first signal coming to my scope is the current and the second one is my volt voltage so what I do is just simply double click on your scope go to settings of your scope and on the tab logging you just uh, enable this one log data to workspace I will name this one as signal one sig one and you put it on structure with time, then OK, and run your simulation. I am using MATLAB 2017B, and you will see that uh, here there is a variable saved as SIG1. Now, how to plot this variable? You will need a name file. I have created before so in this M file you can plot your figure the signal signal sig1 sig1 as plot sig1.time this gives you the time simulation time and this gives your signal values sig1.signals and the first one is my current second one is my voltage second signal I had two signals in my scope I will uh, turn on the grid, give the, a title to my figure. It's, for example, I have given it my plot. And then label my x uh, axis as time and y label is signals. The first one is my current, i, and the second one is my voltage, which I have named it e. As legends then you can use these uh, commands for example it is very important when you are writing reports or when you are writing if uh, your papers uh, so you have all the figures almost at the same format so you can just adjust your font size of your figure and uh, font, uh, font name here and you can do much more with figures now I'm plotting here it is I have plot I and E together in one plot and I need uh, why we need to plot these in figure formats because you can easily just save it as figure I will name it fig1 2017 and then you can easily work on this uh, figures in MATLAB because it's very easy ha and handy for example you don't need I1 you just need to show E instead of I and just separately from I and you can just delete that and keep your E and also you can here Go and change the color, change the line, for example, with line widths. Also, you can change the line format. You can put markers or just, I will uh, turn off the markers. You can change the marker size, although you can do these with the, with the M file. You can do those in M file. It is very handy when you have lots of figures and you want them to be all 
then you just give the these settings here define those and just plot all the them just copy for all the figures and plot them together then your all of your figures will have the same uh, format other things that you can do here you can change these for example you name I name it for example voltage because it's not signals now and time you can even change the again here you can change uh, the f font uh, type and font size and different things styles so you have lots of options and uh, you have uh, it is very flexible for you when you are plotting it and saving it with figures another thing because i, I am using matlab 2000 17 another thing here to mention in the new versions of matlab i figured out for example here i have 2020 b version uh, when you run the simulations it's exactly the same simulation i have current and voltage again my resistor is 5 and it's just 10 volts with a voltage source running it for half seconds then you run this one in the newer versions the MATLAB is saving this as out it's saving the variables all the variables of your simulation in just one variable it's structure out and when you open that you will see that you have a sig1 here that you have defined and saved it so in these versions, all you need to do is exactly the same procedure. I will just uh, save and exit this one. For 2020, you will just again do the same things, except that you will need to put an out before the signals your in your commands you will put out dot sig one dot time for your simulation time and out dot sig one dot signals one for your signals to get the information data for your signals and you can plot it now you will get the same plot <laughs>